This tutorial is an introduction to the StreamPix graphical interface. We are going to explore its most useful functions one ribbon at a time. The Home ribbon. This is where you can most easily manage recording and display. Start and stop recording and play back a sequence using the VCR buttons. You can also easily show or hide the docking panel, switch display mode, or select workspaces. StreamPix's most important menus, such as hardware properties and StreamPix settings, can be accessed from the home ribbon. Those menus have their own tutorials. Please refer to them for more information. The Workspace Ribbon Each camera needs its own workspace to be able to work within StreamPix. The Workspace Manager button allows you to manage workspaces and therefore load cameras within StreamPix. Here you can create workspaces, delete them, rename them, and more. There is a whole tutorial on workspace creation. Please refer to it for more information on that matter. The Working Folder button allows you to select the folder where a workspace video stream is to be recorded. The difference between selecting the Working Folder from the Workspace ribbon and from StreamPix setting is that the Workspace ribbon option allows you to assign individual working folders to each workspace, whereas the StreamPix setting allows you to set one working folder for all workspaces. The Camera ribbon the camera ribbon allows you to manage the frame grabber associated to a particular workspace. Use the camera frame grabber buttons to load and unload a frame grabber. The buffer count field allows you to set the buffer size of a particular workspace. The difference between setting the buffer size from the camera ribbon and from StreamPix settings is that the camera ribbon option allows you to assign an individual buffer size to each workspace, whereas the StreamPix settings allows you to set one buffer size for all workspaces. Finally, the Select Time Source button allows you to change the time source used to timestamp each captured image. By default, the computer clock is used, but more accurate time sources can also be used. The Display Ribbon The Display Ribbon allows you to manage StreamPix display. Use the Zoom buttons to zoom in and out. Use the multi-display buttons to manage the number of workspaces to be displayed at once. The Bayer Color Ribbon The Bayer Color Ribbon allows you to manage the Bayer pattern of your StreamPix workspaces. You can enable individual Bayer color management from the StreamPix settings menu.
Bayer can be applied either at grab level or on displayed frame. Bayer can also be enabled when exporting raw images to generate true color images. The Tools ribbon. The Tools ribbon allow you to save and load StreamPix configurations. This is a useful feature if you want to save various configurations and alternate easily between them. You can also use this feature to export the current settings to be used with a different user account or if you want to reinstall StreamPix without having to reconfigure the whole system. The Help ribbon. The Help ribbon is the quickest way to manage your StreamPix license. You can also learn what StreamPix version you're currently running and access the StreamPix user manual.